All right, welcome back. So we're about to get started and go get our two characters, but I thought I would give you a little bit of context for my story. So my overall story is right in front of you here, and I will read it, and I will do a previs on the final part, which is the dance competition. So once upon a time, two friends who had a falling out, treachery over a lost love and love lost. Because of that, they grew apart. Years have passed, and finally they meet once again in the finals of a national dance competition. Can their friendship ever be redeemed? So that's the overall story. And what I'm going to do in my previs is going to be related to when they meet in the dance-off. And as you can see, I put in this uh, this sprite sheet, and I will include a little uh, addendum to the uh, lesson so you can learn how to do this. It's a very useful way. Now, uh, you could put this in a movie uh, if you're doing some kind of uh, output and movie uh, scenario at the end with all your uh, filming that you do in Unreal Engine or you could just put uh, the text right in Unreal Engine and film it from there but uh, so what I want to do now is go and show you how to go to Mixamo so let's have a look at that so I I have logged in and I'm just gonna go to Mixamo and I have two characters so my two characters are gonna be Amy and Pearl so one of the things about Mixamo I'm just going to mention off the bat is some of the characters will come in uh, with the, the, the materials not working properly. Okay, so I already know that Amy works and Pearl has a little bit of an issue and I'll show you how to fix that. So you don't have to worry if any of the characters that you decide to choose uh, something works a little bit off. Uh, you can fix the materials in Unreal Engine. So the first thing that we want to do is we have to make sure that when we bring in the character and download them that we do not add the animation at first okay so this is uh, really important and it allows you to uh, basically customize them as you go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna download Amy right now uh, and you'll see there's no nothing extra here in the T pose so we're gonna download her okay so Make sure you know where that is going and look at what it's called, it's called CH46. So maybe you want to change the name, but I'll, I'll kind of leave it that way for now. Okay, so before I bring this character in, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it character one. Now I did suggest you only have two characters. You could technically add more, just don't have too many because you'll get confused or lost uh, in no time. So, um, just want to make sure I name this folder not new folder, but I'll click uh, rename and I'll call it uh, Amy. Okay, so that's the first one. And so, and I could call a character one if I want. And I'm also going to create a folder called materials, which I am going to need. And uh, I'm going to now right click. So I have in my content section a new, so this is where Amy is going to go. And I'm going to bring her animations, everything into this folder everything that's related to, to this character. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, import. So right here, and I go get the character. As a, I know I put it in the download folder, so let me seek that out here. Second, um, downloads, looking for downloads. There it is. And there is Amy. Now I could change this because I, it's kind of, but I know that it's Amy. So, and when you import, if if you haven't, just click reset the defaults if you you know we're using it a lot or whatever. And uh, here we have this. We can click import animations, but there are none. Um, and so make sure that students don't click around on anything. And for now, since we've not imported her yet, this is at none. And it should be at exported time, so we're going to import all. So one of the things you're going to see come in is uh, her materials, and basically it's the way she looks. Which for Amy, if I if you recall, I mentioned she works, uh, but in, the other character we're going to bring in will have a few issues for us to fix, uh, which I want to just talk about that because some of the Mixamo characters don't work perfectly in Unreal Engine. So I'm going to just take all of these. And one of the things I may want to do right away is just check, drop her in, and press F. And I'm going to just spin her around, because this is how you look. Oh, well, I'll have a look at her. Does she look like something's wrong? No, she looks pretty good. This, this is what 
you know, character looks great. So now I can delete her. Uh, so I'm going to go click shift. I'm going to put all this in materials just so it's not so busy. Uh, and came in with the skeleton, which is really important. And we're going to talk about that and remember what it's called CH 46. So you need to look at that. Okay. Cause when you're going to bring in the animations, you need to click on the skeleton. Okay. So we'll talk about that. I'm going to click save all just in case it crashes and I'll click file, save all up here as well. And, um, yeah, we're pretty happy with this. So let's have a look here. Okay. All right. So we're going to bring in our other character and let's see what was she called. So you should, like I said, we already selected these ahead of time. So per, okay. So now we're going to also make sure if ever the animation's been activated by accident, tip. Just close Mixamo and log back in, and then the character will once again be in a T-pose. Because I will repeat, you're bringing them in as a T-pose. Okay, don't animate them and then bring them in. That'll mix everything up, all right? So here's uh, Pearl. I'm going to also download Pearl. And I'm just going to go to my Unreal Engine. I'm going to create a folder. So right-click, cl right New Folder, and I will call it Pearl. Now, I like the name of the characters because I kind of know them, you know, and you could even give them some color here if it helps. Pearl is the pink one, let's say. And this one's the purple one. Is that color? I'll go purple like, or blue more. That way they stand out. Okay, so now I'm going to go and bring in Pearl. And I already know that this character materials don't work right in Unreal Engine, so I'll show you briefly how to fix it. It's quite easy, uh, as long as you know. So I'm going to import Pearl, and I'll go get her, and there she is. Now, if I haven't changed the settings, it should be fine. I can import all, and I'm going to create a folder for materials, just like I did with the other character. So we'll just wait for that to come in. It shouldn't be too long and there's sometimes errors uh, but for the most part these are you can skip these so she has a lot more stuff so we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it materials uh, but before I, I do touch uh, you know you'll have to wait till the shaders compile uh, but what I do the same thing as I did last time I'm going to grab this green one and I'm going to drag it in or, well, the green, this one, you'll be able to see. Um, this one is an animation, but there is no animation, so it's not going to do anything. Well, this one here is uh, the, the static mesh. So we can look at her here. We'll wait just a second. So I'm just going to, often when you pop click, it opens in a separate tab. I'm just going to add it at the top. And right away, you're going to see something's wrong with her. Now, in the last demo, what I had done is I had dragged her in, which also works, and press F, and then flip around, and you can see something's really wrong with her. So what we want to do is the three materials right here, and we can, we can actually bring them in to this folder, but let's fix them first. So I'm going to click on all three, and I'm going to double-click on them. And what I'm is, well, I, I'm doing one at a time. I need to change this this right here. So don't be intimidated by all this. Really, the, the, we only need to change one thing. And it's right here. It's It brought it in as translucent. That's why you can kind of see through the character. And so there's a, a deep... There's a little arrow here. Uh, and just click on it. Or if you don't see the arrow, just click and change it to opaque. So... What you do now is save it. And now she has three materials. So we're going to just do this first one. And we're going to go have a quick peek. So already you see it fixed a part of her. So if you move in, you'll see some other. Usually if if there's a material like that. So I'm done with this one. So that was body mat. So then I'm going to go to bottom mat, which is same thing. And here you see the arrow. I'm just going to click on it. Changes it to a pick. Click save. And I might as well just do the third one before, because I know 
you got to do all the materials. Some characters might have one materials, others might have three. So this is the hair, so this is a problem with the hair. So click the arrow, and again, changes it to opaque. Make sure you click save. So let's just go back to our mesh, which we open. And now she looks fine. All right, so you can just, you can even turn around in the space if you want and have a look. Or if you're not sure, I had brought her into the scene, so she looks really good. So what I'm going to do, I am actually going to delete her from there for now. I'm going to take all this material stuff and bring it in here. And you see, uh, again, the stars are there, so some of the stuff has not been saved. So I'm going to take all these textures. Well, I guess I could do the shoes, but you know what? They look, I would probably take a few minutes and do the shoes too. Any materials you see, and the materials are the ones that are like these balls, okay? You should be doing. So I'm going to bring all that over here, move here. And so all I have left in here now are Pearl and, well, this animation, which is not actually an animation. And I'm going to click Save All because you see there's little stars there. We don't want that. Uh, we want to click File, Save All. All right, so we're ready for the next step.